Hi everyone, so today we're going to do a little quick review and demonstration of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and I just wanted to show you really a comparison between um, sort of one side of my face where I have this product on and then the other side of my face where I don't just to see if there's any comparisons really when I put the rest of my face makeup on. So I'm just applying sort of a, a relatively generous layer over my skin on sort of like a paddle brush. I'm also really trying to keep it on one side of my nose but it was quite difficult so just excuse that. But the foundation that I'm using is, uh, oh no, what is this? I think it might be the Maybelline like Superstay foundation I think. I use this all the time. Um, it's an excellent drugstore foundation and I've used this with other sort of illuminators I guess underneath the skin not underneath the skin, underneath my uh, foundation. But it's a good foundation because it allows you to see any illuminators or any highlight highlighters that you use um, as a base on top of the skin before foundation. So I'm just sort of buffing that in and then I go on to do um, the other side of my face as well. I'm using the exact same foundation, exact same brush and exact same method as well. And then what I'm doing afterwards is just applying a tiny bit of concealer underneath my eyes, then going straight into um, bronzing as well. I also noticed at this point, I didn't have my eyebrows on. I was like, why do I look so strange? And then I looked and I was like, right, it's definitely my eyebrows. So if you see my brows change here, <laughs> that's probably why. So yeah, I'm just using my bronzer. This is MAC Give Me Sun, and then I'm just sort of melting that in towards the skin with very light pressure. And this is what the end result is. So I haven't used any highlighter or any additional sort of luminous, uh, luminous, <laughs> luminous uh, face products on top of this because I really wanted this product to speak for itself. Um, and then, yeah, I just show you sort of like a comparison between each side. Stay tuned for my thoughts because I'll give you some thoughts um, at the end of it and sort of my main conclusion. But I just wanted to give you some more close-ups and some sort of what they called stills photos just photos um, of what it looks like on each side so the, uh, the side I'm about to show you now is the Charlotte Tilbury side and then the other side is the no side so stay tuned for my thoughts I also just wanted to show you uh, some photos I took on my phone they are not the most flattering like hello peach fuzz uh, but yeah so I just wanted to show you both sides with the Charlotte Tilbury and without it as well so stay tuned for my thoughts Okay, you guys, so I'm just here to do my final thoughts. I'm still like in my gym stuff. I look absolutely horrendous at the minute. Um, but I really wanted to try out this just to see if there was any difference. Um, so just looking from sort of like the video footage and also like the photos as well and obviously looking uh, in person. Um, for me personally, I don't think that the Charlotte Tilbury um, Hollywood Flawless Face Filter thing. Um, I don't think it makes a humongous amount of difference if I'm totally honest and sort of just looking at my skin currently like I have a beautiful soft glow but I'm not entirely too sure that it's much different um, to the other side and I've only used um, foundation concealer, I haven't used powder, bronzer and no highlight as well so this is literally this and the reason I wanted to test this was to see whether or not I could get away with wearing a highlighter or something glowy on my skin. Um, but yeah, th there's still like a soft glow to it, but I'm not entirely too sure. Mm, I don't know, I can st I can still see a bit of a soft glow. My skin looks healthy, that's, that's the only sort of conclusion I could come out with. But is it much different to this side? I'm not entirely too sure. So I think the way that I'm gonna use this product going forward is I'll still keep using it underneath my skin because it's a really beautiful, like tacky base. It does work as like a really good product underneath face products. Um, but if you're buying it for the sole purpose of it's gonna give you this glow, you don't need highlight or illuminator, then I don't think it's for that. But I do, however, think that it's absolutely um, for just wearing without face products. Like, I think this is the product, sorry, my hair looks like 
Oh. Um, so yeah, I think this will be the product that you take on holiday with you. It will be a staple in your makeup kit when you take it away on holiday. For me, I think it's going to work better for holidays and like summertime than it is going to be for this is going to make my skin look super glowy and luminous under my foundation. There's no major differences. This side looks naturally a little bit more glowy, but I don't know how different it looks to this side. So yeah, they're my thoughts. Honest open from somebody who doesn't usually spend 30 odd pounds on products so yeah i hope you enjoyed this guys thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in my next video bye